YouTube family will go on the Maverick in the space again. Best and most credible opinion, same way. Fear and fearless analysis, same way. Big day in the Olympics. The 100 meters women final runoff. For the first time in four straight Olympic games. Well, actually, in five now. For the first time in five, we don't have a Jamaican champion in the women's 100 meters. Kind of feel weird, no? <laughs> we never have a medalist. We only had one finalist. So, event where Jamaica dominated over the past about well, how much decades that? From 2008 till now, how much? Count it. Almost a decade and a half. It's a kind of surreal feeling. And maybe now kind of laced with the acceptance right now. The guard really and truly have changed. By the way, Julian Alfred from St. Lucia and the Olympic 100 meters champion. I don't know if you're going to call it an upset. Because she beat Shakira in the semi final too. Beat her back in the final. Beat her more soundly in the final. Emphatic win. She, she could have seen her game face. She could have seen that she's serious from in the semi final. And she made no mistake in the final. Win going away. 1072. National record. So, congratulations to the Caribbean, same way still. I know Alfred has some Jamaican in her because she went to St. Catherine High School. She did Jamaica from she a young teenager, from us about 13. And she got right through school. So congratulations to St. Lucia. Tia Clayton was Jamaica only finalist. How was she run? She run somewhere down the track there. You don't know. Kudos to Tia Clayton. She was the youngest one on the field at 19. Yeah, the scene approached them, kind of fell by the wayside. Elaine was out of the team from injury. Sharika had to pull out of the 100 for injury. Shelly and Fraser Price, the one that hit us just before the semi final. So Shelly pulled out of the semi final. Apparently, had, she, she had some. Hamstring discomfort before the semi final. I may have to say something about that because I hear people, you know, <laughs> Jamaican track and field fans mark hard, you know, people. Yeah, man, me say, Shelly, she, she, we understand by the reports, had some hamstring issues in the warm up area. No people start cause her say, Shakari and Alfred, she done run from. Can you know, say, she done for run the big semi final there with she, Alfred, and Shakari who were this. Basically, the, the three men are favorite them. Um, when she pull out before the final. And of course, before the semi-final, she pull out. And of course, before the same semi-final. Some images come out of France say, with Shelly and Shakari apparently get locked out at the warm-up era because they must try to go through the wrong gate. And then they try to go through them. Have them get this come up late. They must go around. But walk to another area. We don't know if that is a fact, but obviously now, Shelly, this could be the last to see a Shelly and Fraser Price on the Olympic stage. Because if she suffers an hamstring injury, that means uh, she can't go into the relay. So the part of it is kind of sad. And of course, it's not the kind of 100 meter women's final where the Jamaican track and field fan base used to. Because we used to have paint the place, one, two, three, paint the place with medal, paint the place with gold, black, and green. But that was not the case. One big up Tia Clayton still enough for your gallant effort. You win our semi final convincingly. But the pace was too much for you in the final. I mean, I know this thing about with the 100 meters. I mean, this is what we do year after year after year. This is not the custom in our majors, you know. But we run the 100 meter final like an hour and a half after the semi final. I feel it kind of cruel. Yeah. I mean, me, me there, I watch the semi final, you know. And when the semi final done, me kind of jump around and I kind of like. And by the time I spin out two times at the final, let me see. You see the final is them line up on the track. Look kind of cruel, and I think. Outside of Julian Alfred, I think that got better from the semi final to final. I think most of the athletes kind of, kind of underperformed. Talo, again, Talo look like she pull up injured in the final and run down the track. Um, flatter to deceive again. Don't know if he manage rounds again. Run herself into the ground. But what is shocking to me, people, is how dramatically and quickly things change. Yeah? No Sharika Jackson, no Ilian Thompson, eventually no Shelly and Fraser Price, representing Jamaica at the 100 meter finals at the Olympic Games, was a 19 year old Clayton twin, Natina, 
but Tia Clayton. What kind of script that? How who script that? <laughs> God's script. That was God's script. But we could have seen this coming. Even if we were a bet, even if we have a bet, so one of the Clayton twins, one of the young sprinters, they would have make it to the Olympic final. It would be Tia Clayton, you know. It would have been Tina Clayton. But alas, it was Tia in the Olympic finals that carried the hopes of Jamaican. And the whole thing really get discombobulated when Shelly couldn't go in at the semi-final, you know. Because as I said in my previous video, all of the hopes of Jamaica now, after Sharika pull out, was on Shelly and Fraser Price to kind of pull, pull the rabbit out of the hat. But that was not meant to be. Yeah, age probably had catch up with Shelly now. We don't want to admit it or not. 37 years old in sprinting is, is old. You can't put it so harsh, but that's the reality. But that's how it go. We're going to look forward to the male 100 meters semi final and final now that are come up on Sunday. See if we can make amends. By the way, Jamaica won two other medals. We get a medal in the men's shot put, you know. And of course, that old warrior, the ever consistent Shanika Ricketts in the women's triple jump. Round of applause, fair enough. Fully deserved it. She cried tears of joy when she done the event. Fully deserved. You know, one of them Jamaican athletes, they will just go about doing their business professionally and efficiently every single time she go up on the track, whether in the, in the Diamond League or whether in the World Championship or the Olympics. I'm glad that she get a medal. So in terms of medal count, we don't get a medal in the women's 100, but we get a bonus medal in the men's shot put. Can you believe it? Men's shot put. But then I watch the shot put, you know, me a, me a follow it. I'm a sister the Jamaican and medal contention. <laughs> but I say, wait. A men's shot put we got now. And some versatility has, has spread. Yeah, man. So the medal count, probably the pump pardon. Yeah. We don't get no medal in the mixed relays. We run, we run down the track in the mixed relays. But we never have no medal in my projection for the mixed relays. But it is what it is. Kind of, kind of somebody. Kind of somber. 100 meters women's final at the Olympic. And no Jamaican gold medal. No Jamaican medal. One dege dege Jamaican finalist. It kind of hard. Kind of hard to believe. <laughs> but it is. It is what it is, people. Yeah, man. We are, as we say, we are going to get some unexpected medal. And we are going to lose some medal where we think so we are win. And that trend has started already. Anyway. We look forward to tomorrow. Strange day at the Olympics. Maverick. Gone. <laughs>